A North Houston community is breathing a sigh of relief tonight. They say a water main break has finally been fixed after flooding their neighborhood for weeks now. Our Devin Clark live tonight in North Houston with a closer look at that situation. Devin. Danielle, you may not be able to tell right now, but earlier, this street just north of downtown was flooded. But the issues for homeowners ran deeper than that. They were concerned that their homes could start to sink. This is crazy. This has gone down at least a foot because this used to be up here. Here on Cosmos and Lilac. Water from what Jaron Carer and Sander Hunter say the city is blaming on a broken, unused water main had been gushing up from the ground around their property since January 23rd. We called the, the solid waste department the other day to warn them not to drive down this road because it's, it's coming up all along the seams of the road. The water isn't just affecting the homes on the street. Neighbors tell me that about 300 feet away, it's trickling all the way down this hill and caused this 20 foot or so stretch of land to practically break away. And they're worried that these trees could soon fall into the bayou. Closer to the source of the leak, the couple forced to use rain boots and tiptoe around the sinking ground on their property and purchase water to drink and cook with because they say theirs isn't potable. And we've just kind of been in a very frustrating back and forth with the city trying to get them to come out and and address the issue. They say crews had come out a dozen times, but no repairs. So we called the Houston Water Department. And there seems to be a pretty big issue over here. Within hours, crews were fixing the leak. And it took them all of three hours. Uh, you know, it's it's clearly done some damage, but whatever was left to do, they've mitigated and I'm so happy that they came out and got to it. While there is relief that the leak has been fixed, the couple now says that they have to bring in a landscaping company to fix the damages. They're hoping that the city takes care of that, too. Reporting live north of downtown, Devin Clark, KPRC 2 News. Devin, thank you.